welcome to your final video of Upbeat Updates from Lovely Limerick. My name's Mairead Cleary and you're watching Some Good News. Now when you think of UL, what springs to mind? Is it the living bridge, the pitches, the stables, or is it the hospital? On Monday, UL launched an immediate care facility in the UL arena for non-COVID patients. These are patients who have been released maybe from an acute hospital but could benefit from some extra care, some extra rehabilitation or for patients who are waiting to go into long-term care as well. It's expected to be on campus until at least September. Now there's no denying that COVID-19 has affected nearly every aspect of our lives but most community groups have adapted pretty well to the change in lifestyle. No exception to the rule of course is Sing Out With Strings, an initiative by the Irish Chamber Orchestra that teaches primary school kids around Limerick how to play a musical instrument. They've They've launched their own website, they've carried out online classes, they've done one-to-one -one tutoring via Zoom call, they've done their best to make sure that they can carry on teaching despite the circumstances. Have a little listen to some of the clips of the young Mozarts at work. Now they're not the only local connoisseurs of the arts who have been busy lately. UL's Musical Theatre Society launched a table quiz with eight other groups from third level institutions all around Ireland last week. They raised over 1600 euro for Black Lives Matter, The Bale Project and the Irish Network Against Racism. Well done all. Now Professor Ita Richardson contacted us about a project she was doing to engage technology and physical well-being. She ran two workshops for people who are living with breast cancer and survivors to talk about their feelings around technology, around getting physically active and around the illness itself. Through the medium of photography, they published a booklet that explores those feelings and it's beautiful, it's stunning and it can be quite moving as well. It's called No Longer Whole But Still Strong. I recommend checking it out. Now, as it is the last episode of the series, I want to give a shout out and a big boola bus more to every single person who's given up their time, money, energy, talents to different organisations and charities throughout the country. Just from the charities we've mentioned in some good news at UL, there's been over 70,000 euro going to these organisations. Like, that's just fantastic. And that's not including all the stuff people have baked and cooked. It's not including the stuff people have made, such as those knitted face mask straps from last week, or the talents, the things people have done just to make someone's day, like the musicians who performed for nursing homes locally or did an impromptu performance for their street. All that stuff has really made lockdown a little bit easier for people and that is what some good news is. Um, thank you very much for watching anyway and uh, goodbye.